Hello. Hi, yeah, Sarah. Sharon, how are you? I'm doing good, thank you. Very good. And hey, sh remind me the client's Business. domain. Okay, gotcha. And uh, they paid yeah. on April 16th, uh, 2019, a total of 646 and 20 cents. Now, I'm also recording this call, so I could I could uh, hand it over to to my client, and you know try to understand how you know I'm saying like if you know the discounts or you know whatever this ad amount can be adjusted, what's the timeline it could be, so I could take it up with him and kind of tell him to switch it, move forward. Yeah. Yes, I got gotcha. Um And how about this? Um, do you remember what the Fortis? Yeah. Is okay, gotcha. Um, I think I Account remember the, yep, yep, I got it here, okay, very good, and yeah, any any of that money that they spent, it, like, I, I remember it's 136 and change, um, and if they wanted to go over to, like, uh, a 365 email, um, they would get that credit applied towards it, so one of the things I want to look at, because, um, doing the migration or doing the move, okay, eight gigabytes, that's okay, um, eight gigabytes. So there are there are a few users that are pretty mm -hmm. heavy. Um, so a lot of the users who could get to sign the email essential plan was to give them up to um, five mm -hmm. gigabytes, but these users that are like at seven gigabytes, eight gigabytes, eight gigabytes, seven, they would have to go on the email plus plan. They would get up to 50 gigabytes. Um, but yeah, they could easily, because what, oh, I remember I had trouble adding, didn't I? 27 it was instead of the, the 30, whatever I came up with. Um, so right now, right, that, right now, what's yeah. the total, how many gigabytes they're getting? I mean, yeah. Right now, their plan is limited. Oh. They got completely unlimited. No, no. For right now, what kind of plan they got for each mail account? What's the space that they're, they're allocated right now? Unlimited. It's okay, unlimited. so the upgrade plan you're talking about, there's gonna be a limit on it. Yeah, either five gigabytes or five zero. Oh, either five or fifty. So looking at the user, I mean, I didn't take a look too deeply because since the mail is handled by you guys so how many users do you see they're under five gigabyte or over five gigabyte how many accounts let me see let me see if i can turn it up here one of my tools give me one second i mean the heavy users should not be too much i mean i think me. there's going to be a few uh that would go over five yeah. GB. Yeah, I, I don't I want to say it's yeah under under six. Um, yeah, give me one sec here. So there is no unlimited plan with the with the upgrade, yeah. Unfortunately, not. Yeah. Unlimited. Good, good, good. Over this little tool, I'll calculate it all. So I don't have to make. I don't make any errors like I do in in math. Um, <laughs> give me a sec. Okay, so. Oh, it looks like anything over three and a half gigabytes um, would have to be on the on the plus plan. So one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, six users would have to be on the plus plan. Okay, and the plus. Well, so what's the normal? Like, how much are we looking at for? Like. You, you, why don't you give me two 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 rates? One is for everybody is five G, gigabyte. How much are we looking at? And and you know getting those six accounts a plus plus and then how much we're looking at? Okay, gotcha. So you think you'd be able to get the users down um, below three gigabytes? So um, yeah, I can give you. I'll give you a quote on all twenty-seven people. Being below three uh -huh. gigabytes, uh, that will require them to like purge a lot of their messages. Um, but yeah, give me one. Here. No, no, so like the, the limit and, is five GB, right? Five gigabytes is minimum that they're getting. 
Yeah. Yeah, but in order in order for us to move it all over, yeah, it would have to be under three okay. gigabytes. So those um, those users would there's only six of them. Um, usually, if you go ahead and uh, you know. Um, so if the males have over three gigabyte, you are not going to be able to migrate them. Is that what you're saying? Right. Unless they right. get to plus. And there's only six. Yeah, six that are over. Um, so in that so case, there's no point of giving us the flat rate. Just um, give us, tell us how much this is, how much it's going to cost, uh, since you cannot migrate. I mean, if the users go in and delete the, their unnecessary mails and bring it down under three GB, so that's something that they have to do, which is pretty impossible right now. So. Okay. 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 Gotcha. So we'll give you the six longer. accounts or with plus. Twenty-one mm -hmm. people. Yeah, 21 people at the at the low one, and then I'll do the six people at the high one. Give me one sec here. And, okay. And, you know, the, the, I myself and most of my clients, they are with GoDaddy, got a lot of packages, domains, hosting, web security, SSLs, and everything we buy from GoDaddy. So keeping that in perspective, you might want to give us a good deal. Yeah, I gotcha. Um, yeah, like about a, a thirty percent off. Um, so the one year price, and again, uh, this is so twenty one users on the little plan, six users on the big plan. Um, the single year price seven hundred eighty eight dollars seventy six cents. Um, we would go ahead and do the migration for you. I'm not sure that was this many users I can get. Usually it's a hundred dollar fee per user to get you migrated over, but with this many people, I'm not sure that I can get that waived. And you know, like it's to be in a long time customer that they are. Um the two year price, uh, you're still getting about twenty five percent discount. Um, to your price is twenty three hundred eight dollars. So, so that again, I kind of lost you. Just and a then, second. So, for one year migration from today, after deducting, after making an adjustment of that six hundred forty six dollars that that was made. Oh no! I no these well. So these are just the the normal rates. This doesn't take into consideration the money we're getting back from those. Um, those, that's six hundred and four six dollars. Um, let me just I think I added this up before. Yeah, I'm not even added again. There were three receipts and yeah, they came up uh -huh. six hundred and forty six. These prices I'm giving you don't include us um, applying that six hundred and forty six dollars. So the one year for uh, six of the big uh -huh. mailboxes, twenty one of the uh -huh. smaller is seven hundred eighty-eight dollars seventy-six. So that'll take me from today until yeah, the next be... year, around this time. So November two thousand. Correct. Uh, so that so that is already the discounted. You cannot deduct. Uh, so there's that's it. Seven six, the six forty-six dollars that we paid already that doesn't come into account here, right? Not will though. So like so the seven hundred and eighty eight dollars and seventy six cents. Um then we would uh -huh. subtract or apply that six hundred and forty six dollars. Uh -huh. So um make it my handy dandy calculator. I'm just gonna say seven eighty eight minus six forty six about hundred forty two after we apply the refund. Okay, so we get we're good if we pay you one forty two fifty six right now. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, for this year. Yep, yep. So if we pay, let's say in a couple of days or tomorrow or day after, if we, if we pay one hundred and forty two dollars and fifty six cents, we are good to go until uh, November nineteenth, two thousand twenty. Yeah. Yeah, now here though is something really important. That one year rate for 26 users is really discounted. So that $788 amount I gave you, just um, the, the when it renews, it's going to renew higher than that. Um, let me give you an idea. 
it's really heavily discounted. And I'd hate for like after the year for us to say, oh yeah, by the way, now it's you know, eighteen hundred dollars for the year. Um, okay, so normally it's five dollars a month for the small users and six dollars a month for the bigger ones. So normally, so we've got five dollars a month times twelve. That's sixty dollars a year. Okay. And then if we do the six dollars a month times twelve, seventy-two, seventy-two. Okay. So then we've got seventy-two dollars a year times twenty-one users on the big plan. That itself is fifteen hundred twelve dollars. And then six users at 60, 360. So keep in mind that if you do that $788 for that one year, um, when it renews next year, it's close to about $1,800 a year. Wow, that's a big jump. It's huge. It's huge. That's why, that's why I make sure I, I tell everybody because I've gotten too many customers that mm, call when it's time for renewals and are wondering, oh, my gosh, why did it make such a huge jump? And, yeah, that's, so that's about a year is the normal price for so, all So there's it. no discount over there next year? <laughs> um, yeah. I, I don't know what will happen next, but I would, I would, I would count on oh. it. No. I mean, I would budget on no because I don't – Renewals very, very. Um, I mean, they don't get any discounts on renewals. Hmm. I see. And how about the mail backups? If I want to take yeah, the backup of this email and migrate it to another email address under cPanel, uh, can I do that with the new system? Like all the mails that I got, I like let's say uh, yeah. all the emails I got in my in my account or one of the mails mail accounts. So uh, if I want to take the emails, like whatever is in the inbox and sent folder, I want to take the backup and migrate it to another mail of mine. Is it possible? Um, yeah, but you don't need to because that, that will be handled by us doing the migration. So we're, we're basically going to pick up all the users mailboxes, all the different folders, we're going to take all of them and move them from the old IMAP plan to the Office oh, no, 365 plan. I mean, what I'm we're saying is if I want to take oh, okay. from the new system, from Office 365, if I want to take this uh, uh, this whole thing, take a backup and move it to another uh, mail of mine, which is a different host, or maybe, you know, maybe, maybe I take, okay. uh, put it this way, maybe I, I host this vested um, in GoDaddy, right? I take a much bigger space, let's say one uh, to 500 gigabyte of space hosting. And then I create, yeah. under, under the cPanel, yeah. I create email accounts, each and everything. And then I don't take your email service, but the email runs under the cPanel. You know what I mean? So, you know, if we get a hosting, you can create emails under your cPanel, in your cPanel, right? Yeah, but it's really ugly, yucky. Yeah, I know. So, um, so that's yeah, so that's yeah. um, so that's possible, though, right? I mean, he, I can take the backup from you all and and migrate to under cPanel, right? That's that's an option. Yeah, I mean, you can migrate your email from anywhere. Yep, absolutely. Now that we wouldn't facilitate um, that. The only only type of migration we do would be from a. I don't want to say this the wrong way, it would be from a lesser type of an email plan, like we could migrate cPanel email to Office 365. Yeah, but how about we Office 365 to cPanel? Are you guys going to, you know, is there a way we can do it? We you, I'm, we're not going to bother you to do that, but we can do it. But if you block the mails, like, you know what, we, we you know, there is no way to take the backup and put that back into the, you know what I'm saying, cPanel. So then we cannot do it, you see? I'm totally dependent yeah, I, on you guys. If you had um, the like the software, the means to migrate it from 365, uh -huh. yeah, you can absolutely do that. We wouldn't help facilitate it though. But no, yes, you could you could move those emails anywhere okay, you want. Yeah, we can take the backups. So we can receive the backup files and everything from the mail. Yeah. Yeah. 
from the Office 365 mail. As long as we get that, that's fine. We can migrate it. I mean, that's that's just an mm -hmm. option that yeah. uh, you know, if the if the client feels that yeah, they will stick with you guys after a year, that's up to him. If they feel like you know what is, I cannot yeah, afford it. You know, I could afford six hundred dollars. I cannot afford yeah. three times. So let's might as well move into cPanel yeah. and yeah. pay them for hosting. So that's fine. I'm just keeping the options open. You see what I'm saying? Yep, I got gotcha. Yeah, yeah, it definitely can be moved. Oh, Absolutely. awesome. Well, thank you very much, Sharon. I'll, you know what, I'll, uh, yeah. you know, every time I call GoDaddy, they put me on hold for like half an hour, forty minutes. So how? Oh, don't do that. You have my email now. I'm, 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 I'm here. <laughs> don't, yeah, don't do that. Just email me and I'll. So get back what are what are your hours like? What what hours are you available? I'm always here. Um, <laughs> I, I mean, I'm here. Where are you? Are you in the East Coast? No, no, Central. Um, I live in Dallas, Texas. But, uh, okay. but what, you know, what uh, time do you work? Uh, what, what's... I'm 6.30 Eastern. Sorry, say that again? I can't know. 6.30? Um, 6, 6.30 in the morning till 3. All what right, 6.30 a.m. till 3 p.m. That's Central time you're yeah. telling me, right? Um, I'm on... What are we on now? We're on. Uh, oh, Mar Mar okay. We're we're in Arizona. Oh. We, you know, it's funny. We don't change our time, but it's it's the hardest thing. Some some part of the year we're in California time, the other part of the year we're on Mountain time. <laughs> so it's it's uh, but it's Arizona time. It's all by itself. So right now it's like nine o'clock. All right, so we're in Arizona, in Phoenix. Is what, it what? Ten? Yeah. Okay. Phoenix. All right. Sure. I'll I'll call you. Yeah. So that's the time that's. That's the amount of time that you gave me, right? The 6.30, Arizona time, 6.30 a.m. till 3 yeah. okay. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, just email me, mm -hmm. let me know. And even outside those hours, don't even worry, Jack. I've got I've got people here that if it needs to be outside those hours, don't even worry about it. If you have any question at all, just sure, email no problem. me. I'll probably email you like, hey, you know, yeah, we're available. You can call me friend. in a half an hour or an hour. You can get back and, you know. That works absolutely okay. fine. Yep. All right. Sounds good. Thank you very much. Sounds good, my friend. Nice, nice talking to you, Jack. Bye-bye.